you. <laughs> oh, you're too kind. Thank you very much. Welcome to Perfect Match. Hello at home. We've got a big week for you this week on Perfect Match. Very special show on Wednesday. Bit of a dress-up one, so you've got to stay tuned for that. And Kerry Friend, she likes to get dressed up. Big hand for her, please. <laughs> Why do you ask how I'm feeling, well, Gary? everybody home, we should tell everyone, you had a bit of a party yesterday, didn't you? A bit of a huge bash, yeah. Was, it's yes. a, a belated You're feeling all right? Yes, I am, actually. Oh, it was good fun, wasn't it? It was lots of fun. Everyone, all this broad spectrum of people came. Well, there was heaps and heaps 80-year-olds down to 8-year-olds. Yes, you a... look like you're having a bit of a good time. Well, it was a rage, no But man? also, yes. Also, we <laughs> should mention, everyone, that we're, later on in the show, we're going mm. to show people at home the footage from our sixth wedding, and yes. that's Mr and Mrs Orchard. And not only uh, are we going to show the footage, they're going to be coming on the show too. They certainly are. We might even give them a special present too. Oh, we could do, see? We could. All right, well, let's get <laughs> right. it underway. Tell us about these girls. All right. Our first contestant is an econ economic student whose ambition is to learn belly dancing. Please welcome Liz Anderson. <laughs> Next is a hairdresser who would like to own a hairdressing salon for famous people. Say hello to Gillian Trimmingham. And our last contestant is a clerical assistant Good at surfing and would also like to be good at triathlon. Say hi to Linda Spa. Very nice, nice ladies for the beginning yes. of the week. Yes, and you never know, we could find seventh wedding. We could. Yes, like seventh heaven. Better. Wouldn't that be amazing? Would be pretty good. It's incredible, isn't it? Success. All these weddings flying around everywhere. <laughs> Maybe the Cupid's somewhere up there. Thank you. Welcome, ladies, to the show. Number one, Kerry says you're a good surfer. Have you won any competitions? I haven't entered any yet, but I aim to in the next year or so. Win a few trophies? I'd maybe maybe knock Wendy Botha off her number one <laughs> crown. Can only try. Oh, look out, yeah. And number two, have you ever cut the hair of the head of someone famous? Well, not yet, but maybe in a few years' time I might be cutting your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> You can cut my hair anytime. <laughs> and uh, number three, you want to learn belly dancing. Where do you plan to do that? Uh, probably when I finish my de degree in Canberra, I'll move to Sydney and do it there. You're doing a degree in belly dancing? No, a degree in economics at the ANU. Good. And I'd and just like to say hi to Sue, Nick and Brendan. There you go. Hi, Sue, Nick and Brendan. <laughs> Ladies, welcome to the show. Make them feel at home, please. We've got a bit of a surfer man for one of these ladies. Max, tell us about him. Terrific, Cameron. Our first single is a carpenter whose hobbies are surfing, snow skiing and golf. Please welcome Wayne Thomas. How are you, Wayne? Good, thanks. Welcome, man. Now, uh, you're a surfer from probably the most famous of Australian <laughs> beaches, Bondi. Sure am. How long have you been doing that for? Oh, about eight years. Yeah? yeah? What sort of board do you ride? Hot butter. Hot butter. Yeah, hot actually, butter. Excellent <laughs> surfboards. Have a seat there. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Make you feel at home. Big, you know, all of that sort of stuff. Okay, Wayne, you know how to play perfect match. You've seen us play it before. Your first question goes to contestant number one, please. Right, uh, contestant number one. When it comes to men, which of the five senses is your favourite? Smell, because I just love a good aftershave. I'm glad you said aftershave, because, you know, I could get a bit <laughs> under there sometimes. Number, number two, what five senses of men do you like the best? Well, taste because variety is the spice of life and Set. I love to taste everything. Ooh, taste <laughs> test. <laughs> and number three. Sight, because with the looks I give, I always get my man. Oh, she's got the evil eye. What do you think, Wayne? Well, uh, number one, I think. The I smell, the aroma. Yeah. <laughs> number one. All right, Wayne, next question to number two, please. Right, uh, girls, look. I really, really like blondes. So I want you to be honest here. Is it true that blondes have more fun? Well, this one always does, but sometimes it's too much for my own good. A bit too much? <laughs> Ooh, you lucky thing, number two. Number three, do blondes have too much fun, do you think? Well, if you pick me, I'll change your mind and show you brunettes have more fun. Clever. And number one. <laughs> Blondes do have more fun. If you pick me, I'll, sh I'll be able to prove it to you. Prove it? All right, Wayne, what do you think? What do you think? I think number three, Cameron. Number three. Yeah. She's going to change your mind because she's a darky. Dark hair. Final question, please, Wayne, to number three. Right, this is a bit of a hard case question. What household appliance best describes your love life? <laughs> a kitchen whiz because I can do anything 
You dish out. <laughs> Contestant number one, what household appliance best describes your love life? I think a blender because I always get churned up inside. Oh, <laughs> that we all know. We get a bit nervous. Like, number two. A vacuum because I always get sucked in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Wayne, you've got a kitchen whiz, a blender. Yeah. And the vacuum, the old Hoover. <laughs> I don't mind being sucked in, I'll take number two. Number two! <laughs> good, good. Sucked in! Wayne, the bells have gone. Oh boy, look what you've done. You've matched one each with these ladies. It's going yeah. to be difficult for you, but you've got to choose. Here's your ten seconds. Good luck to you. Hey. Who's it going to be? One, two, or three? Number one, I think, Cameron. Number one, the lady in the blender. <laughs> Who likes the smell? Number two, come on down. I mean, Wayne, this lady loves dancing, motorbikes, and a bit of acting. This is Gillian Trimminger. Oh, yeah. Trimminger. Got it. All right. Number three, likes traveling and learning to parachute. This is Liz Anderson. Hello. It's going to be one one day. And number one, come on down, number one. I think you two are going to get along very well, actually. <laughs> She's a clerical assistant whose interests include surfing, you see, right. hockey, and a bit of basketball. Wayne Thomas, please meet Linda Spa. <laughs> Well, now, that was a great greeting. And being surfers, you're going to love this place. Barley for the weekend. Oh. Yes, well, this is a company that was a production in association with that word, Ken Australia. And